To open the expression maps, first create a new instrument track with your library loaded. Here, I've loaded chamber strings core as an example. From here, select expression map on the left and then expression map setup. You can then click load in the bottom left and navigate to your chosen location for expression maps. Once the map has been loaded into your project, you can add it to the track using the drop down menu on the left. Please note that if multiple tracks are using the same map, any changes will affect every track. If you wish to make changes and save them, simply use the Save option in the Expression Map Setup menu. To install a custom track preset, you must put the folder of presets into Cubase's track preset directory. This will be located in your app data folder. To get to the app data folder, go to your operating system drive, the C drive, Users, your username. Then we need to show the app data folder. To do this, choose View, Show, Hidden Items. We can then see the app data folder. Once you're in that folder, feel free to hide hidden items again, as they could clutter up your screen later. We then go to Roaming, Steinberg, Track Presets, and Instrument. This is where we'll place the folder. From within Cubase, you can now load these tracks from the Track Preset Browser. However, as you can see, this browser gets cluttered really quickly, so let me show you an alternative method of loading these. Open the right zone and choose Media. Then choose File Browser, User Content, Track Presets, Instrument. You'll see that the folder that we placed here is showing up. But we want this to be easy to access, so we're going to right-click the folder and choose Add Favorite. You can put any name you want. I leave it as Instrument. Then you can go up to your Favorites section, and you'll see that you have the folder here under Instrument Tracks, and there's our track presets. We can grab any track, for example, Chelly Shorts, and drag it into the project. It will load with the expression map already there. Instead of using this Favorites file folder, we can also go back and use the Favorites section and then Instrument Tracks. And here we are. You may have noticed that when loading tracks from the Favorites Instruments Track folder, when you select a track preset, it loads a preview in the bottom of the Cubase Media Browser. This can take a long time to load, as you see here, and can kind of slow things down. So a faster method to avoid this is to open the media bay with F5, make sure to close this lower zone, and go to your favorites here, instrument tracks, track presets. From here, the track presets won't load any sort of preview, and you can simply drag and drop. To use the expression maps, we first need to record in some MIDI information. To assign articulations to the notes, we can simply highlight the note section and use this articulation section at the top. You can see that the notes then have the text of the articulation placed on them. This makes it really easy to differentiate between notes that have the articulation applied and notes that don't. And now let's listen. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.